Hey guys, uh, I was requested to make this video a couple of days ago and I thought, uh, sure, I could do that. That's pretty easy. So today I'm going to show you how to change your IP address. Your IP address is held mainly by your MAC address. Your MAC address registers with the network and the network assigns you an IP. And uh, you have the same MAC, you should have the same IP. I had the same IP for years until recently I started getting DDoS attacked and I decided that it was time to change the IP and I did so. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to do that. Now there's two ways. Uh, either you have a router or you don't. Most commonly people have a router so we'll do that one last. Um, I'm going to do the not so common one now because you know if you don't know if you have a router you probably don't. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, first you're going to go into your control panel which you can get there by start control panel network network and sharing center. You're right here where I was just a second ago. You're going to go into your local area connection, which is what you're plugged into. And as you can see, I'm online. Hit Properties. And then hit Configure. This is going to open up this window. You're going to see a couple of tabs here. We're going to the Advanced tab. We're going to look in this scroll list for Network Address. Now, as you can see, mine is not present. So, in order to get your network address, you're going to need to know what it currently is in order to change it. So, just go ahead and hit start, type in CMD. That'll open up this box. You need to do IP config. And as you can see, my. Where is it? I think you have to do IP config dash all. Yeah. There we go. IP config dash all. And as you can see here, uh, you're looking for your physical address. Now you want to make sure you're on the right card. I don't have any other cards except for this one, Ethernet control or local area connection. So my physical address, as you can see, is BC5F, F4, blah, 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 blah. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to type that. BC5F, F4, 8C9B5F. Wow, did it already know that? Was I typing for no reason? Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> BC5F8C. What? Okay. That did not work. BC5F8C9B5F. Now, when you have a MAC address like this, it's a little weird. It's got a lot of numbers and letters and letters and numbers. The easiest way to change it is to just change the last number. Now obviously the last character is a letter. So I'm going to go to this 5, I'm going to change it to 4, and that's pretty much it. You save it, you need to restart your computer, restart your modem, you have a new IP address, guaranteed. I'm not going to change mine because I am using a router. So let's go in and show you how to change the router. Now your router may be different than mine, I, I get that. I'm using a Netgear N, I don't remember what the model number is to be honest. Um, you're going to go into 192.168.11, as you can see in my address bar there, and you're going to be presented with an authentication required. Uh, normally, the username is admin, the password is password, it might be admin. Just try a couple of things, it'll go in. Mine is automatically remembered because I've already changed mine. I'm only in 600, wow, okay. Uh, so you're going to come up here and it's going to obviously check for updates. Uh, in this particular router, we're going to go into basic settings. Yours may be a little bit different, and you might have to search around for this particular setting, but as you can see, router MAC address is right here. You can use the default MAC address, you can use the computer's MAC address, or you can use this MAC address. As you can see, I'm using this MAC address. Now, uh, if you use the default MAC address, that's what's on the router itself. So when you hit use this MAC address, it just enters what the current router's MAC address is. For this, as you can see, it's all numbers at the end. I usually just change the last two numbers. Currently 3-3, three, three, I can go 2-1. And it really doesn't matter. There's no wrong way to do this. As long as it's a number, as long as you just change the last two numbers or the last one number, you're not going to have an issue. Apply the settings restart the modem and the router and it should come back up with a whole new IP address and just for testing purposes what is my IP.org there's my IP remember that I'm gonna go ahead and save this as 2-1 
and hopefully this won't take too long to restart and show you guys I'm just now using I'm just now uh, just now got hypercam I don't even know how to use it I see a pause button and a stop button so hopefully I can hit the pause button and then resume back recording later I don't know I don't know I don't really want to mess with it because I'm gonna mess this video up so we're just gonna record all the way through okay so connection was lost I don't know if you heard that um, that would be my team speak going hey I've lost connection so that means that the router has changed at this point I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my modem and plug it back in and just because I'm a rebel I'm not gonna restart the router just to see if we have any issues coming back up and then um, while you're waiting you can jump around here to uh, router status and see the current nope wrong one connection status see the current IP obviously there isn't one so we'll just keep renewing and there was my old IP so we're waiting on the modem it's actually not booted up yet almost done almost there Okay, and it just reset the ethernet. I'm assuming that's because it's getting its new IP. I don't know, could be different, could be something else. I'll just hit renew and see if it has anything yet. Please wait a moment. And, and no. I'm pretty sure I'm already back online to be honest. So let's just go to what is myip.org oh wow completely different <laughs> so as you can see I just changed my IP to something insanely different didn't even know I could change that big of a range I usually always get 68189 but okay uh, but as you can see that clearly changed my IP and uh, TeamSpeak's already back up as it says connected and uh, we're off to go to get DDoS again later uh, just keep in mind that Skype does have resolvers, and that's usually the number one way people get your IP in order to DDoS attack you. The easiest way to deter them is to just show as invisible, because they don't know that you're offline or online at that particular time. So they think that you're offline, they're not working as hard to hit you. Um, but, whatever. And there's an easy way to change your IP. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to help you out the best I can. Thanks for watching.